My name is Sigma. I'm just your run-of-the-mill college student. Well, I was, before I ended up here. My head felt like you'd been cracked open with a sledgehammer and filled in with concrete. What the hell's going on? Where am I? Isn't that obvious? Who are you? My name is Phi. And that was how we met. What is this thing? Good luck with that. I tried to get mine off while you were napping. Didn't work, obviously. Damn it! Why would someone do this? What's the point? I'm really starting to get pissed off here. Hey there! How's everybody feeling? What the hell? Things were tense there for a bit, but we managed to get out with time to spare. <sighs> hey! It's the holdup, let's go! Chill out and watch your hands. <laughs> Once we managed to bust out, we realized we weren't the only inmates in the asylum. Hey, who are you people? What the hell's going on? What are we doing here? Haven't the faintest idea. I've barely been out here any longer than you two. We all just came out of the elevator. So it looks like they grabbed you too then, huh? Welcome to the goddamn club. Grabbed? Oh, right. I was on my way home from school when a couple of cars showed up and started spraying white gas everywhere. They must have knocked me out with it. That happened to all of us, I think. The smoke must have been some kind of general anesthetic. We all woke up in one of these elevators. You were all in one elevator? Only two of us got thrown into the same elevator together, Mr. Dio and me. Everybody else? I'm still trying to catch up. Who's Dio? Right here, pal, the one and only. And the little guy goes by the name of Quark. So, what about the rest? And I'm pretty sure Tenmyoji, Alice, and Luna here all woke up in their own separate elevators. Do I have that right? That's the long and the short of it. So you're Tenmyoji then, right? Bingo, kid. And... Alice is? Right here, honey. The one and only. And this young lady is Luna. Oh, sorry, hello. It's very nice to meet you. <sighs> Every single one of them seems... weird. Now that the introductions are out of the way, can I get a look at all your bracelets? The bracelets all look the same, but the colors on the display are different. Quark and I are blue. There's something else. What is it? You notice something? Looks like Sigma and I are a red pair. Dio and Quark are a blue pair. Each of us with matching bracelets were paired up together in the same elevator. The ones Tanmyoji and I are wearing both say Solo on them. And look at the way you got here. You both had your own private elevators, didn't you? What is this? Well, look, there's obviously a connection, but what do you think this pair and Solo thing means? Who knows? Are you serious? It's so strange. Why would they split us up like this? What about the three? What do you think that means? The answers were about as easy to spot as coal on a moonless night. And we didn't even have a flashlight. Maybe it's got something to do with the game. I mean, seriously, what else could it be, right? Game? Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Please, my friend, I'm Zeebo the Third, the king of the kingdom! <laughs> 
we're not the only ones, are we? You guys saw him too, right? You know that rabbity looking thing? Yeah, he showed up on the monitor. It would be pretty damn hard to miss him. I don't know his deal, but he said something about being an advanced form of artificial intelligence. He told us he was powered by a quantum computer. Huh, an artificial intelligence. That means someone has got to be controlling our fuzzy little friend. Someone? Someone who? And where the hell are they? Jeez. It's pretty rude to have somebody over and not even offer him a drink. If it is somebody else, think about it for a minute. I mean, let's not assume anything. It could easily be one of us. <sighs> there was only one way to take that. Her words hit us like ice water. What had been confusion quickly turned to suspicion. <laughs> Clover! Who the hell are you? And what is with the outfit? I'm... Uh... What? Oh, you have got to be kidding. You don't know who you are? No, I don't remember anything. That's a problem. What are we going to call you then, big fellow? Uh, oh, well, I suppose you could call me K. Talk to me, Clover. Two know each other? Yeah, we do. Alice and I met a year ago out in the middle of the Nevada desert. It's kind of a long story. Never thought we'd end up somewhere like this, though, huh? What's going on here? Where are we? Well, we're not entirely sure, but somebody named Zero has gathered all of us here to play the Nonary game, whatever the hell that is. N nonary? No, that can't be! The blood drained from her face. She wrapped her arms around herself, as if suddenly cold. <laughs> well, now that the whole gang is here, allow me to welcome you to my kingdom! At last we learned what awaited us. It was simple, he said. We were there to play in his game. The goal, to get the numbers on our bracelets, bracelet points, up to nine. Once one of us had accomplished that, they'd be able to open the door with the nine on it and escape. But if we screwed up... You will all be dead, dead! All right, so, what are the rules of this game? How are we supposed to play it? Ah, uh, yes, well, funny you should ask that. Huh? Oh, God, what is it now? What in the hell is this? Attention, attention, please. There are only ten minutes remaining until Ambidex polling closes. All players, please be sure to be able to what's going on. So, you want to know what's gonna happen? Why the Ambertex game, of course! So let's go, everybody! That was how Zero's insane game began. We played the Ambidex game by going into what he called the A-B room to compete against people we'd been grouped with. The game itself was simple. You just choose ally or betray. You and your opponent's bracelet points change depending on what both of you picked. If you both choose the same option, then you both get the same thing. But if you choose ally and your opponent chooses betray, then you lose two points. And they gain two points. You understand what that means, right? If you can't keep your head in the game, <laughs> you'll end up better than a doornail! Attention! 20 seconds remain until Ambidex game polling closes. We don't have time for this right now. Just choose Betray. What? Why would I do that? We don't know what our opponent is going to do. I mean, if we choose Ally and then she chooses Betray, well, you heard the rabbit. Ten seconds now remaining. What do you mean? What'll happen? No. Are you even paying attention? If she Eight, does, we'll lose two seven. bracelet points. <sighs> then we'd only have one point each. In other Six, words, we'd be finished before five, we even started. Four. Three. Hurry! Two. What the hell are you waiting for? Choose Betray! One. What do I do? What do I do? I don't know what to do. 